What's up my friends, welcome back! Today I will show you how to easily create an Android app. Connect it to your Arduino using Bluetooth connection and start transferring data in order to control the Arduino's output. First you need to have an idea of your app, like this one I've made to control my badass tank. But in this case I want to control things around my room, such as my desktop lamp or maybe the main light, or even power up my PC in the mornings without getting out of my bed. I know that sounds lazy, but it is a lot cooler if you made it. So what you will need is a PC with internet connection, an Android smartphone, one Arduino, a Bluetooth module, a relay and some wires. The list of the module and the links are in the description down below as always. To create our app we will use an online tool called App Inventor. For that we open our browser and google up App Inventor. You should probably make a new account using a google mail. Create your new account if needed and enter App Inventor. If this is the first time in App Inventor you should start a new project. As you can see I already got my robot controller app saved in my project. Here you can see all the elements I've used to complete this app. So we go to our project and click start new project. We give a name to our app. I've called it room control. This will be our screen. On the left we have our palette with all the elements that we could add. On the right is where we will set the properties for each inserted element. Take a look on the screen settings. You can change the screen name, background or orientation. I'll set my background to grey, a portrait orientation and I give the title to my screen. In the components tab you can see that we have just one screen. Let's add a few more elements. So I want to have 4 buttons. For that I will first add 2 horizontal layouts. I go to layout, horizontal arrangement. I set the width to fill parent and change the background color. I do this process once again for another block. It's time now to add our buttons. We go back to user interface, select the button tool. We drag it into our first block. I will give it an 80 by 80 pixel size. We click on the image properties. We have no images yet. We click upload file. I recommend you to use PNG format files if you want transparent patterns. I will first add my light bulb icon. Click OK and we are done. We do the same for the rest of our buttons but with different images. To separate a little our buttons we can add some extra layouts. I will add my logo inside of the middle layout and I will give you 40 pixel height. It's time to add our Bluetooth client. To do that we go to connectivity tab. We select our Bluetooth client and drag it onto our screen. You can see that it is a non-visible element. Now we have to add our Bluetooth list. We go to user interface and select list picker and drag it onto our screen. I will make this block 60 by 60 pixel size. I will now upload a Bluetooth icon image.
our app design is ready. We go now to the second part of this app creator. We go to blocks. On the left you can see all the blocks that we have. First, we need to make the code for the Bluetooth connection. We select our list picker block. We drag the before picking block on our viewer. We go again to the list picker and select set list picker elements too. Now we go again to the Bluetooth block. We select Bluetooth client addresses and names. Now every time our Bluetooth list is open, we will see a list of our linked clients. We go again to the list picker and select now the after picking block and drag it. Now go to set list picker selection too. Now we go to the Bluetooth block and drag the called Bluetooth client connect addresses block. Finally, we go to the list picker again and drag the list picker selection block. Our connection block is ready. Now we have to set what each button will do. I want to turn on and off a light bulb, a vent and my PC. I also want to turn a lamp just when the button is pressed and turn it off when the button is released. Let's start with the light bulb, which is button 1. We select button 1, select the block when click do and drag it into our viewer. Now we go to Bluetooth client and drag the send text block. Finally we add a text block. I want to send the 1 every time that the button 1 is pressed, so I add the number 1 in the text block. I will receive this 1 in my Arduino loop and I will have to make a small function to turn on and off the light bulb. We do the same operation for the vent and the PC. We can just copy these blocks using Ctrl C, Ctrl V and change the button number. The vent is button 3 and the PC is button 4. I want to send the letter A every time that the vent button is pressed and the number 2 for the PC button. Now let's edit the blocks for the lamp. We select button 2 and drag the touchdown block. We add the Bluetooth send text. I want to send an 8 when the button is pressed down and the 9 when it's pressed up. We now add the touch up block and edit the text. Our app is ready. You can see that I've used only one character text. The send text function can only send one character at a time. If you send the number 12 for example, you will receive a 1 in a loop and a 2 in the next loop. You can always try using different function of the Bluetooth client as send 1 or 2 bytes. 1 byte is made of 8 bits, so you could send decimal values from 0 to 254. Ok, so in order to use this app, we have to save it into our computer. We go to build and save the app to my computer. Once the app is generated, connect your Android smartphone to your PC and copy it there. Open your phone file manager and install your app. If your phone asks for unknown app permission, just enable them for now. Open the app. There you go. Now let's jump to the Arduino part of this tutorial. The connection is very easy and you can download the schematic from a link below. First, we connect our Bluetooth module to 5 volts and ground for the Arduino. Then we connect the RX pin from the Bluetooth to the TX pin of the Arduino and the TX to the RX pin as well. We connect our relay to a 220 volts power supply. Be careful because this voltage could kill you in a second. We connect the ground and the enable pin from the Arduino to our relay. I will use digital pin 11 to enable the relay. At the other end of the relay we connect our lamp in this case. The connection is ready. Let's take a look at our code. We first create 4 variables for our lamp, vent, light and PC. We create a new variable called receive and store the received values in there. And finally, 3 more variables for the output states of each item. In the setup loop, we start the serial communication and define our pins as outputs. In the infinite loop, we check if there is an available serial communication and store the received value in the received variable. Let's make the light function first. I know that every time that I receive the number 1, 
I have to change the status of my light bulb output. So if the light state is 0, which means that the light is off, and I receive the value 1, we set to hide the lamp pin. But if the light state is 1, which means that the lamp is on, we receive the 1 and we set the light pin to low. We do the exact same procedure for the vent and PC, but we change the received to A and 2 values. In the case of the lamp, we know that if we receive an 8 we have to set the lamp pin to high and if we receive a 9 to low. Our code is done. We upload this code to our Arduino. Now, we open our phone Bluetooth settings. We search for devices. When the Arduino Bluetooth devices is found, establish a connection using four zeros or a 1234 password. Once the connection is established, open your app. Click the Bluetooth button and select your Bluetooth device. You are now connected. Start testing all your buttons. In this small example, instead of connecting a 220 volts relay to each of my output pins, I've connected a small LED just to show you how it works. You can always use other Bluetooth blocks and start editing your code to make it more complicated. You can add a slider or a text editor to your app and start testing your own ideas. With this example, you could easily control a robot, lights, send text, receive text or any other microcontrol project. Just change your blocks and code and adapt it to your desire. I hope you liked this tutorial and that it helped you. If you have any question, don't be shy to ask. There is a new Q&A section on my webpage. I am trying to create a small community and help each other by answering the other members' questions. The register is simple. Just choose a username, password and your mail and start asking or answering questions. So give it a try. Also, subscribe to my channel and give me the motivation for more videos like this one. Thanks again and see you later, guys.